This is the OPCW's equipment store. When the inspectors were sent out to Syria, this is where they came to collect their gear. How does it differ now? The technology development, we have better tools to do the job. It's these monitors that are making this buzzing noise we can hear. What do these do? These monitors give an indication of contamination. Once this comes in contact with a liquid chemical agent, it will change colour, a bit like litmus paper at school. You see there, the symbol on it? This is an example of how the inspectors protect themselves from the agents. So there's nothing getting oh, through sorry. there. Exactly. This is what would happen, what has been happening in Syria. The protected inspector approaches the sample and we have here the dummy that's being laid and Michael is going to test it for the presence of chemicals. That is enough. There is this chain of custody in which each sample is contained, sealed and photographed and that photosynthetic seal is what keeps the, the operation legitimate, is that right? That's exactly right. This is the actual laboratory where the samples that we now know to contain sarin were brought from the field in Syria to the lab and this is the OPCW's laboratory so here Behind this window is where the Syrian delegation watched as those samples were split and processed. Previously in Syria, they collected the samples on the ground. They were brought back here to the OPCW and then they were taken to four separate laboratories in Finland, Sweden, Germany and Switzerland. But here we see the mobile lab and this could be taken in future operations to Syria on the ground so we're seeing now how they conduct the tests on site. Okay. When the attack took place on the 21st of August the chemical inspectors were already in Syria. It was the first time they'd been entering into a live war situation. They were diverted to the Damascus suburbs to test for the chemical agents that had been used. Now they're waiting for a political agreement to be reached so they can return to Syria and go to the original sites that were intended. When that happens, they'll be coming back here to this equipment store to collect the gear they need to return to the field.